Hey guys, it's Hannah, this is Bookworm Stock, and today I'm going to do my first installment in my old school YouTube tag series. If I could have a choppier intro, oh my god. So what I'm gonna do is for about five to seven days, I haven't worked out exactly how many, I'm going to do old school, like original YouTube tags. Some of them I have done before, but they're so old that I wanted to revisit them because things have changed. And I thought it would just be really fun, so I'm gonna do this series for you. So today I'm going to do the 15 weird questions tag. So question number one, what is a nickname only your family calls you? I don't have one. <laughs> um, as a kid, I was called Peanut, Love Bug, I was called Hannah Banana. So I, when I was like a baby, that's what I was called. I don't really get called that anymore. I've worn this lipstick for so long and it's like melting off my face. What's a weird habit of yours? A weird habit I have is that I have the hardest time finishing like a bottle of shampoo because I stop using it when it goes towards the bottom because I don't want to finish it. Same thing with water bottles. It's a problem. Do you have any weird phobias? Um, oh, okay, bees and flying insects. Near my ears, I watched a something or other Unsolved Mysteries of the ER, something like that. My mom made me watch and I was really little because she wanted to watch it. And it scarred me for life because it was either a bee or a cockroach got in someone's ear and it burrowed and it was just, oh, screwed me up. So that's like a weird phobia for sure. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? This isn't even a secret. <laughs> and this is not the kind of song that I bet most people will answer with. I have been recently really in love with All Right by Keaton Henson. Also Lighthouse by, ooh, what's his name? Patrick Wat Watson. Patrick Watson Lighthouse. I really love that one. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? When people say, oh god, and it's because it, it runs in like my freaking family, and by runs in it, I just mean my father and brother. It says um or the or a uh at the end of a sentence like they're going to continue on and then they don't. That's just how they end sentences and I'm, it always bothers the living hell out of me. What's one of your nervous habits? Um, I'm a hair twister. <laughs> I've realized that and mostly I mess with my hands though. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the right side. Like, oh wait, I typically sleep on the right side but I'm forcing myself to sleep on the left side now because I swear my mattress is getting like an indent of my body. But for the right. What was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? I'm sure I had them when I was like an infant but one of my first ones that I had like an attachment to she was a monkey named Mojina. I thought I was naming her after this episode of the Power Powerpuff Girls. I forget the guy's name he's like the evil monkey evil genius and there was this girl monkey who he liked I guess and her name was Mojisha but I thought they said Mojina, and so when I got this little monkey, it's like the one with the little Velcro hands and Velcro feet that you, I got from the zoo, and you could like clap it around your neck and it would just like hang on you or whatever, and so I named her Mojina, but I named her the incorrect name. So she was supposed to be Mojisha, but she was Mojina. I actually still have her, but I can't really get to her. She's in my closet way up high. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Pretty much a latte with one pump of vanilla. What's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? I suck at washing my face in the morning. I usually just makeup wipe it and I use a glycolic acid toner in the morning so I feel like my skin's it's close enough to clean for me. <laughs> Which way do you face in the shower um, away from the faucet? Do you have any weird body skills? Um, this is not even what I can show you but um, think back to elementary school or high school whenever you had to uh, like do stretches and stuff. Um, I took a dance class, I'm not good at dancing, but I was very good at stretching, which we did for 30 minutes before class every day. So if you just kind of like do your legs out in like uh, a wide, an obtuse Y, I'm using triangle terms here, I can bring my entire torso up, body completely over, laying flat on the ground in front of me, which like it puts a lot of stress on your hamstrings, I think is what they're called. Um, so I'm just like, I'm super flexible in that way. I can touch my, not just touch my toes, I can touch the ground completely like hands flat on the ground below my feet. That one hurts, but I can do it. What's your favorite comfort food or foods that are bad but you love to eat it anyway? Pasta, man. Pasta. <laughs> I love pasta. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? I have gotten into such the habit of saying man at the end of things. And as a joke, my brother and I watch Ghost Adventures and it's this absurdly hilarious show. You should watch an episode. If you think it's going to be like too scary for you, I promise there's going to be so many dude, bro, man things thrown in there that you just cannot take them seriously and you will laugh. It'll be okay, I promise. But because they say, dude, bro, man, blah, 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 when they're freaking out, I watch it so much that I would do it mockingly with my brother. 
and now it's become part of my terminology and like shit that I say. And the last time, time to sleep, what are you actually wearing? Um, normally I'm just wearing a top because if I don't have to wear pants, I'm not going to wear pants and like underwear, but like, yeah, just a shirt. So that is everything. I thought this was a fun, quick video to start this off. There's another one coming at you pretty soon that is a little bit on the longer side, but I'm trying to like spice it up with like shorter, longer, shorter, longer, maybe do every other. Let's see if that works. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you have another kind of series idea that you would like to see me do, maybe something just book related, maybe something just beauty related, let me know. I'll be happy to do those. Maybe I can do another series where it's specifically just that. I think that would be really fun to do a book one. What are these fingers? Stop it. But yeah, that is all. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.